HM is basically just like you ex- described. I banned him from my home about a couple months ago okay. because um, I would I have pictures. I was I took a picture and he was standing behind me, and I just I I went off on him and I banned him. So he's not he's not in my home, but he yeah. is in the sense that when I'm sleeping, of course I'm so vulnerable. Yeah, and I've been waking up with bru- fingerprint bruises, and I have pictures. I've been documenting everything. Mm-hmm. I have pictures of fingerprint bruises on my body, and I'm just like, uh-uh, you're not going to violate me. So I just, I'm constantly banishing him in my home. I put the circle of light around me. Yes. Um, but I, my experiences with him are truly like, like almost telepathically, like I consents and it's like i know that he's there and he's ma- and like i was telling you earlier i just yeah. get this sense and knowing that like i've i've been i was told from an early age never to speak upon this and like it was between him and i and then when i found out his true name because i always called him the dark he never was hm to me yes and then when i found out who he was from the, i don't know if you saw that documentary um the nightmare not yet, it was like anyway. a long time ago yeah. yeah it was like 2013 or something okay. when i saw that my jaw just dropped because i realized like i this was real because i i really truly thought i was like mentally ill for like my whole life and i really truly believe it's like maybe obviously i'm convinced that he is like shadow people at hm they're they're attracted to people that have abilities um, yes, yes i mean that and that's kind of fascinating because it's like what do they is do they lack that like what are they gathering it's crazy 